McDonald's loses its CEO, Uber reports a big revenue miss, and Disney stock jumps on the anticipation of Disney+. Plus. This is the Silver Reports Weekly Review, where we take a look at all of the headlines that move the markets during the week. On Monday, the Dow closed up 114 points, the S&P closed up 11 points, and the Nasdaq closed up 46 points. The Dow closed at a record high. In other news, McDonald's fired its CEO, Steve Easterbrook, after news broke of a consensual relationship with an employee. Easterbrook has been credited for turning McDonald's around after he became the CEO. Under Armour stock was down big after a federal probe into the company's accounting. Under Armour also reported earnings beating EPS estimates by $0.04 cents and revenue by $10 million. Bosch Health beat EPS estimates by $0.10 cents and revenue by $50 million. Uber reported an EPS beat by $0.16, cents but missed on revenue by $150 million. Sprint missed EPS estimates by $0.04 cents and missed on revenue by $370 million. And Shake Shack beat EPS estimates by $0.05 cents and revenue by $310,000. But the stock dropped 15% in after hours trading. On Tuesday, the Dow continued to push up, closing up 30 points. The Nasdaq closed up a point and the S&P closed down 3 points. One of the big stories of the day was the fallout from Uber's earnings. The stock was down almost 10% on the day. In earnings news, Allergan beat EPS estimates by $0.05 cents and beat revenue estimates by $170 million. Match Group reported an earnings beat by $0.09 cents and a revenue beat by $760,000. The stock was down 15% in after hours trading. Weight Watchers beat EPS estimates by $0.02 cents but missed on revenue by $4 million. That stock dropped 13% in after hours trading. And Peloton reported an EPS miss by $0.81 cents but a revenue beat by $28.6 million. The company grew revenue by 103% year over year. On Wednesday, the Dow closed down less than a point, the Nasdaq closed down 24 points, and the S&P closed up 2 points. Markets were jittery after a Reuters report that a meeting between President Trump and China's Xi Jinping could be pushed back to December. The meeting initially was to take place in November to sign Phase 1 of the trade deal. In earnings news, Square reported an EPS beat by $0.25 cents and a revenue beat by $5.3 million. Roku beat EPS estimates by $0.04 cents and revenue estimates by $3.3 million. The stock dropped 15% in after hours trading. Fitbit reported an EPS that was in line with analyst estimates and a revenue beat by $1.9 million. Baidu reported an EPS beat by $0.60 cents and a revenue beat by $40 million. The stock jumped 5% in after hours trading. Qualcomm reported an EPS beat by $0.07 cents and a revenue beat by $100 million. That stock jumped 5% in after hours trading. CVS reported an EPS beat by $0.07 cents and a revenue beat by $1.8 billion. And Wynn Resorts reported an EPS miss of $0.73 cents and a revenue miss of $20 million. On Thursday, the markets received a boost on news of a gradual tariff rollback. The Dow closed up 182 points, the S&P closed up 8 points, and the Nasdaq closed up 23 points. In other news, Xerox put in a bid for HP at $22 per share. In earnings news, Disney reported an EPS beat by $0.10 cents and a revenue beat by $80 million. Investors ran the stock up 5% in after hours trading. GoPro reported an EPS beat by $0.06 cents and a revenue beat by $4.8 million. Activision Blizzard beat EPS estimates by $0.09 cents and revenue by $50 million. Take 2 Interactive missed EPS estimates by $0.64 cents but beat on revenue by $23.5 million. Yelp missed EPS estimates by $0.05 cents but beat revenue estimates by $360,000. And Dropbox beat EPS estimates by $0.02 cents and revenue estimates by $4.7 million. On Friday, markets struggled to close up after Donald Trump advised that he has not agreed to roll back tariffs. The Dow closed up 6 points, the S&P closed up 7 points, and the Nasdaq closed up 40 points. Overall, the Dow, S&P, and Nasdaq closed up on the week. In other news, Gap CEO Art Peck resigned and news is expected to delay or kill the Old Navy spinoff. Gap stock was down 7% on the news. Boeing stock closed down after Southwest pushed back the estimated return of the 737 MAX by a month. In crypto news, Bitcoin was down 4% from this time last week. There was a major sell-off of the digital coin. It was trading at $8,807 at the time of this recording. Ethereum was also slightly down from where it was last week. Ethereum was trading at $183.90. Litecoin was trading higher than it was a week ago closing our week out at $60.11, and Ripple was down from last week and trading at $0.27. Cents. Crude oil closed the week out at $57.43 per barrel, up 2% from this time last week. A big winner for the week, Veritiv Corp, which increased 44% following its earnings release, ticker symbol VRTV. A big loser for the week, Insperity, ticker symbol NSP, the stock lost 35% of its value following its earnings release. If you're in need for fresh investment ideas, check out our latest quarterly newsletter, The Silver Report, serious investment ideas for experienced investors looking for something different and new investors who want to get their feet wet. You can find it at SevilleReport.com. Also a link to our weekend article in focus in the description below and any headlines you want to read more about, the link to the full stories are in the description below. 
Thanks again for checking out the Silver Reports Market Review. This channel is dedicated to anyone who wants to start investing but doesn't know how or where to start. If you have any questions, ask in the comments section, like and subscribe, and may your next investment be your best investment. See you next week.